Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Varpe and today we are going to discuss the topic in tissue culture in plants in which we are going to see various methods of tissue culture which are anchor culture, embryo culture, callus culture, organ culture, seed culture and protoparas culture. So anchor culture, the culturing technique in which immature pollen is made to divide and grow into the tissue which is either callus or embryonic tissue in either liquid or solid medium, in which the pollen containing anthers are removed from the flower and put in a culture medium. Second, embryo culture. Embryo culture is a tissue culture that involves the isolation of embryo from a given organism in in vitro growth. It may involve use of mature or immature embryo. Second, third, callus culture. In this callus culture involves the growth of callus it is composed of differentiated and non-differentiated cells from the explant, growing it in the appropriate nutrient medium. Organ culture. Organ culture is a type of tissue culture that involves isolating an organ from in vitro growth. Here, any organ can be grown, used as an explant for the culture processes such as shoot, root, leaf and flower. Now, seed culture. Seed culture is a type of tissue culture used primarily for the orchid plants. In this method, extracts that is tissue from the plants are obtained from an in vitro derived plant and introduced in the artificial environment where they get proliferated. Now, protoplast culture. In this method, the isolated protoplast can be cultured in the appropriate medium to reform cell wall and generate the callus. The pro what is protoplast? Protoplast is basically the plant cell way of which the cell wall has been removed. There are two types of methods uh, for protoplast culture that is hanging drop method and secondly uh, microculture chamber method.